Hello guys, this video will show you how to make a donut in Plasticity. Now, I know that Plasticity and CAD is not the, you know, the prime place to make a donut or more you know, organic things, but I still think it would be a good little challenge and fun activity to just make a donut in a CAD program in the simplest way possible. There are, of course, guys working with 3D. There are a hundred ways to do this. I just want to show you the most kind of basic, simple way that I have here. So when you create, um, when you start up a new file in Plasticity, it looks like this. In which case, I'll click on this button to get rid of that uh, isometric view. Right, and we've got this as a starter object. We'll go ahead and select that and press X to delete that. All right, guys, now I'm going to go ahead and create a circle here. All right. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to move my camera around here. And I'll click right here. And I'll create another circle. Let's right, say right here at this part. All right. Now I will select this F and an SW for sweep. I will select this one here. And there we go. We can go ahead and select. We press one, two, three, four to switch between vertex, edge, base, and then the full object. So we can press two and then we can select this and just delete those little curves here using X. All right, here is our donut. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can just select that and just press D and that will make it whatever kind of donut you want here. All right, next we'll go here and once again, we'll click this to kind of make it like so. And then to snap the view, then we'll use this right here to create, to hold control. And what you want to do is just kind of uh, click up and down to create this effect here. All right, now we'll select this, press C and then select that. And then we can, uh, well, it depends on if you want to make a clone. I can, what I can do, guys, is I can go ahead and press Shift D and then just make a clone of that. All right. Now I'll go ahead and select that C and then select that. All right. To cut it, slice it, and I'll select this and delete that. I'll select one of the faces here and I'll press D to move it out. Now, in order to snap this back, I'll press G and then X, then hold Control and go over the green line here. I'll now select this. I'll press M to uh, just to assign a quick material to this. Nothing is happening because we need to go ahead and change to a different material like this or this one. Then you can press M and you can choose whatever kind of frosting color you like here. All right, we'll use that. We can also select this and press M and change it to some sort of a brown material here. All right. If you want to make the frosting thicker, select this and then press D some more. Move it out. Now in order to make it look more goopy, you select an edge here, then you press D and you fill it that. All right. Now in order to create sprinkles here, you can simply create, let's say a sphere. Like that. Now I'll press Alt X and then X to do this. Select this and delete that. Select this face E and then D to extrude that out. Press Alt X for the mirror tool. Select this face Q to bring it together. And this will act as a sprinkle. Now you press Ctrl D for the place tool. Place it right here. Now I can go around here and add sprinkles to this. Press S to make it smaller. Press D to move it inwards or outwards. Press A to rotate it. You can now simply go around here and um, add sprinkles. To speed up the process, you can select all this and then use the radial rotation, radial array. Uh, click on the center. Now you can go ahead and change the number here to have more sprinkles.
Let's get someone inside here. So you can kind of go around here and add more if you think it's too noticeable. And let's go ahead and give the sprinkles a different color here. You can make them, I don't know, red to make them stand out more. All right. We could then go ahead and hold control and kind of select from the right to deselect some of them. All right, I'm going to press uh, Alt-M to clear the color. M again, give this a different color, maybe some sort of greenish, bluish color. Then we can hold Control and deselect some, going from, the, going from the right to the left here. We can press Alt-M and then M again. This time it gives something like blue. I see a few of the sprinkles are kind of floating here, so I'll go ahead and delete them. And there we go, guys. Uh, plasticity Donut Tutorial. Thank you for watching and take care.